started at, with British Gymnastics in um, January, so I've only been here for sort of seven months. But over that period, I've been predominantly working with the male artistic gymnastics squad, um, seniors through to juniors, um, and also a little bit with the uh, trampoline squad as well. I guess the main challenge as a, as a physiotherapist is trying to make sure that the athletes are able to train every day. Um, so the time loss injury is probably shoulders, which is quite a lot quite a lot of what we see in um, gymnastics, particularly the men's events. Um, so it's trying to work with the coaches and with the gymnasts to sort of come to some sort of strategies and plans of how we can keep them training, maybe have to modify training, what we can do, little interventions here and there to help them get through training really. I think um, at the moment we're sort of putting together a, like a little pilot of um, daily sort of monitoring in terms of shoulder um, problems, so looking at um, range of movement, looking at um, pain scores um, and looking at certain special tests on a daily basis to give us an overview and uh, a reaction to training um, so we can see how things are going with that um, and then obviously putting in rehab plans and prehab plans around those scores that we see. I think before I was here the, um, the sports medicine team have got a good profiling, a comprehensive profiling structure already in the way and that gives a lot of information that you can base their prehab and rehab programs around. I think the, the you know the British Gymnastic Sports Medicine team is really strong. Um, you know we're working on projects um, with performance analysts in terms of trying to monitor load. Um, we have good dialogue with performance lifestyle in terms of um, what's going on and the social aspects of the gymnast life. Um, and then obviously S and C have good close links with um, tailoring you know rehab with strength and conditioning work. And I guess as well. Um, you know, we've also got psychologists just come on board as well. So every aspect of the of the team, you know, we do work together quite closely. Um, and then obviously the coaches link into that quite well. And obviously they're the, the key stakeholder probably in all of this because um, they have the closest relationship with the gymnast. And um, any sort of decisions you want to have or interventions you want to have with the gymnast obviously has to go through the coach as well as the gymnast. When there's a major tournament such as Europeans or Worlds or a Commonwealth like there is at the moment and the athletes will come for three or four weeks prior to the competition, perhaps even longer in some instances, um, where everything is centralised because the majority of the time you find that the athletes will train um, at their own training venues. So Leeds is a, a club and South Essex is a club and Liverpool is another club where we have three or four gymnasts who will train there full time and then intermittently if there's not a major tournament on they'll come once a week, um, once a month uh, for a week and um, to spend and train together as a group and I think it's healthy for you know everybody to have that regular contact and, and to keep a uh, good social interaction with each other as well.